Okay, big day, 10K, 08. I'm checking in the hotel. So I don't have to keep going back and forth. It's a big, big, big two, two days here. I, I, I've got to get through. I've got to get through in the 08 to day two. So it's really the, all I have to say is I, I have to get through. Look at all this fucking people. I don't even get it. I don't even know what they're doing. tournament of the year right here guys even though I do believe I'm going to win a Nolan Holden tournament at the World Series this year the 10k Omaha 8 is the most important tournament for me so I feel good I'm in a little bit of pain but mentally I'm rusty and uh that's all we can ask for. Alright, well, we're off to a good start. Uh, I won a 100k pot, or 90k pot. Uh, had 95, went all the way back down to 80, just one, just scooped one I didn't think I was getting any of. And then I got half of another, small ones. So I got 100 at going to the break. Had an unbelievable table. Uh, and uh, we busted one of the guys. I mean, I'm a little bit shocked. I didn't know that they consistently move people out of the first nine tables. So basically, they if you show up on time, you will be punished and moved to play with pros. It, it makes absolutely no sense, or I, I just can't even believe they do that. That's, I, I just figure, okay, they move from the first nine, now they get like nine more, they move from the next nine, or five more, who knows? All right, listen, we got 100K. We're going to uh, 1,000, 2,000, 2,000, 4,000. Let's go on a run here. Let's get this fuck. Uh, let's have 200 fucking thousand it's out, it's out at the end of this level. I know. I know, man. Come on, let's go on a card rush. Just get, you get me to tomorrow with fucking 150, 200 with those 90 minute levels. They're going to need a lot to beat me. Last break of the night, we got 90,000. But we had, I had, uh, what, 113 at the last break. I had it up to 124, and uh, very first hand back off the break, I raised the button, ace, deuce, jack, seven, uh, with clubs, come king, jack, blank. He checked, and I checked. Usually, at the big blind, when they defend, they like to lead out with big cards. So when they check, they usually have a big hand, so I check back. A turn card comes a small card, and he bets, and I call. And then the river comes a jack, and he bets, and I call, and he shows me the king jack six eight with three diamonds. Now, I watch a guy raise under the gun, ace eight nine ten, and then this guy thinks he knows everything about the game. He thinks he's so good. He he calls from a cutoff with ace king queen eight, playing whatever. I mean, I'm playing. It's, it's a tough table. I mean. Uh, uh, Phil Yui's at the table. I mean, I mean, he's one of the top ten in the world. So we have two of the top ten in the world at my table, and Nacho's at our table, and he's winning every hand. And uh, I mean, we still have uh, one and a half spots at the table. I robbed a nice one. I flop. I flop. Nut flush draw, and nut low draw and I check called the flop and the king paired turn and I led the turn and I and I picked it up right there which was shocking and that was a hand before I lost the uh, the ace deuce jack seven which I would have bet my life I had the best hand on the river I, I just didn't raise it because I don't know why I didn't raise it because he bet so fast anyways alright last break of the night I mean we got 90k so basically you know you, you play five extra hours for 30,000 in chips, which is exactly, um, we're at three and 6,000, which is five big bets. I mean, 
Max Late Reg is the way to go on all this shit, man. I, I swear I'm Late Reg with all the rest of these fuckers. You know? I mean, I'm kind of disappointed I only have 90 right now. We had a great table. I've had no hands. I've never had Ace Ace once. So, we need a good last two levels. Have a good last two levels and pick up like 50,000 in chips. I mean, go to day two at 140. Would be nice. You know, 4,000, 8,000, 140 would be uh, you know, 18 big bets. That'd be a lot in 90 minute levels. We need to win a pot. All right, hopefully, we make it to the end of the day. See you guys later. I truly am the most tilted fucking person in the history of poker right now. I finished today with 67,000 in chips. I think I had 92 or something on the last break. I fucking literally was not my never picked up a hand. I finally picked up Ace Ace 3 8, double suited, got goofball limps under the gun. Comes Ace Queen 4 with two spades. I've got Nut Flush Draw three aces. He checks. I bet he calls. Turn card blank. Check. I bet he calls. River card fucking five. He bets and shows me the Deuce 3 7 King. He limped under the gun with Deuce 3 7 King. This motherfucker hits an offsuit five against me. I lose 21,000 in the pot. Instead of winning uh, 15, 36 K swing. Which would at least have me at a hundred. Mike, what's up? I gotta have a high five now. I love you. Like the mouth. You. Thank you, bro. Appreciate You're awesome. It. Thank you. You gotta get back on the mouth. I, 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 I will. Like fucking, one. fucking guy who got second in the no limit yesterday sits down at our table, raises under the gun. I have Ace Deuce nine ten on the button fold. Big blind calls. Comes nine nine four. Check, check. Jack on the turn. Check, check. River card. Blank. The guy bets his jack. Guy under the gun calls. Guy under the gun. First hand out in the tournament. First hand out in our seat. Shows. Has ace, ace, deuce, three. I pulled ace, deuce, nine, ten. I get none of it, of course. The other guy had a jack. <clears throat> I folded ace, deuce, seven times pre-flop. Seven. I would have got none of it. Seven times. And I finished with 67,000 in chips. I literally finished with a starting stack after winning that 100K pot or whatever it was, 90K yeah, pot. Okay, okay. We're done. Philip Yui, Phil Yui decided he was going to try and outplay me one hand. When he got right back from the break, 90, I pick up Ace, King, Deuce, Deuce, I raise. He limps, I raise. Come King, King, three. I bet he call. Turn card comes five of diamonds. I bet he raises me. I have nut flush draw, nut low draw, and three kings. I call. I'm like, what do you do? Flop? Fuck the three threes? I don't know. River Jack. I check. He bets. I, I call. He says, you got it. Like, he tried to outplay me. Like, like, like I'm really betting flop and fucking turn. Like a fucking, like I'm some idiot. I was shocked he did that against me. Then he got cooler really bad. Full house against full house. So I wasted a whole day, and I have, I got one extra round of chips tomorrow. Nine free hands more than I bought, bought in tomorrow. <clears throat> My throat's killing me. I think I'm coming down with something. So I'll probably be sick tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to my room. I'll talk to you guys later. Hit some cars early and like double to 120 and then get to like 150. You now they're 90 minute levels, four and eight thousand. Like 150 is like 20 big bets. Like if I ever see like 20 big bets, they're just gonna they, they just can't beat me. If the cars break 30% in Omaha eight our way, we we just fucking are gonna win. You know, so yesterday we won two pots all day. 
one was that hunter one was that will the, will the thrill one was that 100k pot with 10 jack queen king but you know we'll see, we'll see what happens I, you know, I, I haven't had my card rush yet day two omaha eight we have our dealer what's your name Ryan. Ryan, Ryan with Ryan, a beautiful <laughs> girlfriend. The one and only Madsen. PJ. PJ. Uh, sir, what is your name down there, sir? <laughs> Mikey. Mr. Ben Lamb. Hello. And we have two empty chairs. All right, here we are. We've just been moved to a new table. What's your name? Let's go. How are you? Jake, <laughs> you said stop it. <laughs> Eagle, right? All right, we're at. We made it to our table two. We got. We started with uh, sixty. We scooped the first three pots of the day. Somehow, and we're at ninety-seven. We're on our way to a lot of chips today. They just don't even know what's coming. I feel bad. I feel bad for everybody. They don't even know the fucking whirlwind that's coming. This looks like a fun table. I don't think they're going to be very happy when I'm done with them, though. I mean, we had a great start. We scooped the first three pots. We get to 113. We're cruising along. Um... I've already won like five pots today after winning two yesterday. Um, but, uh, I mean, we just take a fucking brutal beat. Guy limps. First, first, first this guy who's got like 300k in stack. He's, he's big, big, I think he's a, he might even be Simone. He's a big guy. He's got like 250,000, 300,000 in chips. Like, he limps under the gun. And... I limp in the, on the button with uh, somebody else limps, so now I limp uh, king, king, queen, eight, double suited. I just figured with two limpers, there might be baby cards out. Uh, I'm double suited, spades and hearts. Flop come down, um, ace, deuce, six of spades. I flop nut flush. He checks to me. I bet he calls. Turn pro comes like queen of nine of spades. He checks, I bet. He calls. River cross a queen of spades. He checks, I bet. He calls. Now, there's five spades on the board. What are the odds of me having high? Like, and I limp behind two limpers. He limped under the gun. You can't make this up. Deuce three, three, seven. In an unraised pot, he called me down with a dry pair of deuces and a 7-3 low. You can't make this up. He had 4,000 in the pot. He put in 20,000 to win four, hoping his 7-3 was good, which I, I mean, it's going to be good against me there. Maybe one out of 10. So that was a kind of really kind of upsetting hand because thought I was just going to win her on the turn, like, who's going to put in 20000 with a 7-3 low within an unraised pot and no high? Anyways, same guy limps under the gun. Just now, I, I raise it up, ace-3-5, king, double suited, hearts and diamonds. He calls, comes 10-10 ace, he checks, I bet, he calls, turn curve comes to jack, he checks, I check. River comes at eight, he bets, and I call with ace king, and his hand is ace, jack, deuce, six. So I got him stone dead on all backdoor lows, and I have him stone dead to a fucking jack. I lose eight, I lose 20,000 in the pot. But that's a three outer, it's a 40, 40K three outer. And now I'm back to 87,000, going to 5 and 10,000 blinds, 8.7 8 big bets we started the day with. But it's just frustrating. 
because like if he doesn't hit a jack and it just rolls off a baby card, he's just calling me. And he's just he's drawing dead. He's just drawing dead to a jack. You know? And I thought he I, th- I thought he had ace deuce three that he lumped with. So I just like he peeled on the 10 10 ace with ace deuce three. I I really didn't think the jack hurt me. I uh I was pretty confident actually. Like I didn't like it when he bet, but I didn't think I was behind. I'm not gonna tell you that I'll tell you that much. So um 87k first first break. I mean, we should have like 150, 160. I mean, I lost a pot to Ben Ben Lamb first table. I raised Ace Ace Deuce Deuce four on the button. Spades. I thought I had Spades at clubs. Flop clop and came Queen high with Spades. I flopped not Spades, but he checked. I decided to check back and uh, turn card came. Queen of Clubs, and he bet I called. I wish I would have bet the river. Um, but he had three queens, but it looks like I pick up a club draw. And I uh, thought that was a missed bet on my part. But um, I mean, we had uh, we had 113 two hands ago, and then um, we got three outed for losing 21k. No, we're all right. It's very aggravating. Talk to you later. I mean, I got 63,000 left. I made a catastrophic mistake. An absolutely catastrophic mistake. Guy raised under the gun. Call. Ace, deuce, eight, ten. Out of the small blind. And he's an older guy. And he's been playing kind of weak. So, um, the flop come uh, six, eight, king. I check and he checks. And I'm just like, how can he check? Like, he has no pair, right? Or he has dry aces. Turn card comes to Jack, I bet, he calls. River card comes to King, I check, he bets. And I'm like, he can't have a hand here. Like, I'm like, but he's an older, weak guy. I mean, I just never imagined that he's possible to even bet here. Like, like he just, like, is always getting called. And I fucking folded. It cost me fifty-five thousand in chips. I've got fifty. I got sixty-three thousand right now instead of one eighteen. I mean, instead of ten big bets going to the fucking six twelve, I've got fifty sixty thousand. I mean, what a mistake! I just a cat. I, I can't believe I made this mistake. I, I can't believe it. I'm playing so fucking good, and I make this mistake. And then. Then this idiot plan, just trying to give us money away, raises. I call out a small blind, one, two, three, queen. Big blind calls. I lead the five, five jack board. I lead the five, five jack board. One, two, three, queen. He calls. Turn card comes a four. I lead. He calls. River comes an eight. I lead. He raises, and he has the. Uh, he, he literally has the ace, two, six, seven. He literally called my bet on the flop of five five jack with one two six seven and hit fucking chin chin. I'm fucking so mad right now. Talk to you guys later. Alright, we got one eighty seven on the break. I had it up to two oh five maximum. Uh, I misplayed a hand really bad. I don't know how I I did this, but I did. It was the first time I misplayed a hand all the tournament really bad. I, 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 I raise ace four jack queen with the ace queen suited under the gun, which is just it's just never a fucking raising. It's just always a fold. I got completely punished for it. I lost like 45k in the pot, but I got it all back the next hand. When this guy raised under the gun, he did the exact same thing. He raised an ace four dog shit. I had ace deuce eight on the flop. Flop came jack eight. And uh, they went crazy on the river. They both had 9-10. And I got a half with these dudes. Excuse me, sorry. So, about 187 on the break. Later. Oh, it's an hour break. Okay, we're, uh, we're on to a dinner break. Um, I got 168 going to uh, 
5,000, 10,000 blind, 10 and 20,000. So I got eight big bets, same eight big bets I started the day with, which is fine. But I have not played well today. And um, I just, uh, I'm, I've made a lot of mistakes. I'm grinding, but I've, I've made mistakes today that I don't never normally make, and it's really bothering me. Like, every time I open a fucking hand late, I get crucified. Like, I open the ace four, jack queen, got crushed. Open the ace three, jack eight on the button, got crushed. Like, these people are fucking, like, three betting just the worst hands. And, um, I don't know. Like, every single fucking time I make a mistake, I get absolutely bludgeoned for it. And, uh, you know, I made the, I got bluffed out of 55K at the one with the old guy. I, I gave away 26, 20, 20. 20, 20, 26, 66, plus 55 with the old guys, 120, and 36. So I've given away 156,000 in chips. What's up? And I got 168. So 156, I would have dead average chips if I played perfect poker. What's up, buddy? Well, coming off yesterday where I played out of my mind above the rim, and, and then today, to to make the mistakes I've made is, is pretty unforgivable. But, so I know it has a lot to do with the fact that I got a little tired. I was fucking cold. Um, I need food in my system. I haven't eaten at all. Uh, I'm gonna try and stuff a hamburger down my fucking throat here. <laughs> all right, let, let's go, man. Positivity. No more mistakes. No more mistakes. No more mistakes. Just coming back from fucking dinner right now. We're in a crush. No more fucking mistakes, man. I agree. I made fucking more mistakes in this Omaha 8 today than I've made in, in my whole fucking... Well, they're, they're just going to just torture me, I guess, the whole World Series. I mean, I come back. I blind all the way down to 75,000. Guy raises up front. I three bet. Ace, ace, jack, six. With ace suited in spades. The fucking monkey behind me. He just says, oh my god, I've got the ace, three, jack, seven. Double suited. I'm going to call three bets cold from the guy that hasn't played one fucking hand in three hours. Flop. I, I'm, I, I can't talk right now. Uh, the flop comes down. King eight deuce with two clubs. I bet. Call, call. I mean, it's a clean fucking flop as long as a club doesn't come off, right? It's king eight deuce. Turn card ten of hearts. Check. I bet twenty thousand. This fucking monkey bets makes it forty thousand. Makes the other guy fold. He has, he has ace three, with a queen high hearts, and folds. And I'm all in. And the guy says to me, I guess I win as long as they don't pair the board. As he turns over, ace three, jack seven. He's got two clubs and two hearts. The other guy folded two hearts. So all it has to do is come any spade or any fucking, any spade or any fucking diamond and I get half. If it comes any board pair, I get it all. He has no pair. And he literally, if it comes a nine, a jack, a fucking eight, I mean, he's like, I literally win if there's anything but a board pair, he says. How about fucking a three? A three he loses. No, they put the fucking baby heart on the river for him for a fucking 200k pot it's, it's just so unfair it's so unfair I folded from fucking 175 to fucking 75 and he had to come for 3 bets cold with ace 3 jack 7 I told you every time I defended with an ace 3 6 I got punished they're calling 3 bets cold with the shit 
fucking, I'm so fucking sick right now, dude. Ace three, even the whole fucking table is like looking like a, just a joke. He's like, he literally announces out loud. If the, as long as the board don't pair, I guess I win. Just like that, he says this out loud. Question. Yeah. So, like 13 years ago, you took a picture with me on Southwest Airlines. I was a flight attendant. Oh, yeah. You were my passenger. Can we retake really the picture? Sure. Oh, my God, thank you. Do you remember? I think so. Thank you You're so welcome. much. Good luck to you. Thank you. Ace three jacks of it. He goes, anything but a board pair. Anything but a board pair. How about fucking if it comes a fucking three you get none if it comes a fucking diamond or a fucking club or nine or a qu you get none he thought he anything but a board pair he says what if i have ace three fucking with fucking aces anything but a board pair he says they give him the five of hearts the guy the guy the guy folded fucking ace three with queen eye hearts I got him to raise. I got him to raise the other guy off the of fucking. I don't even understand what just happened. I win that hand there. It's 150 plus one. Two, it's 200,000. I'm back up to 10 big bets. He says anything but a board pair. Anything but a board pair. How about half the deck? How about any diamond or fucking club or board pair? I guarantee you, he, I, I was like 70, 65% minimum going on the river. I can't take it no more, man. 